Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm just doing one more video today. I'm waiting for a phone call, so I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for this job phone call. So I figured I'd do a quick video as far as an update on the Cuomo situation. And uh, I'm pretty happy about uh, hearing about Quis, uh, Quis, Quis, uh, Mike Tyson, Quis. Um, oh, I'm a more fud. Um, about uh, Chris Cuomo getting... Uh, his Me Too come up and being who he is at CNN and these these just these douchebags that are in our media and in our discourse they're just divisive assholes you know Don I hope Don Lemon gets some Me Too allegations too and he falls because he's been the most uh, evil as of late uh, just a terrible horrible toxic person that is guiding our media and I, I don't know who the hell watches these people i mean many people i know get their news from youtube um of my generation even which is kind of i'm kind of borderline borderline millennial honestly you know i watch uh i've been watching this show new girl with uh zooey de chanel and obviously uh I have a huge crush on her and i don't really like the show that much i mean it it's kind of sub Chuck Lowry, but it's kind of funny. But, you know, it's like if I'm watching that show and like relating to some of the stuff, it means I'm sort of millennial-ish, you know, in, in a way. So I kind of relate to the millennial thing just as much as Generation X. So I'm kind of a borderline uh, cusper, I guess you would call it. But anyways, it's not, it's not, it's not about a, a generational crap that people define and all that shit. This one, you know, this is about uh, Chris Cuomo. So these people, these these uh, people in the mainstream established me media are, you know, I don't know why they happen to be the ones that are so caught up into this thing. I mean, let's just put it this way. You know, out of all the rock stars that have been accused of things with Me Too, you, you you line that up against the news media and it, it's no contest. These people in the media, Bill uh, Bill O'Reilly, uh, I think even Bill Maher at one point, uh, Chris Cuomo, Matt, uh, what the hell is his name? I forgot his name already. I just don't care. Just all these people in the news media are being accused of this stuff, and it's not even not even close in the rock world. It's like ro the rock world gets consent from the groupies. You know, <laughs> it's it's pretty funny, and. Obviously, it's uh, it's justice, you know, it's vindication for me because I, these people have been spreading misinformation and lies for decades. So seeing these people fall is, is awesome. You know, when you see uh, some of these media figures fall, it's just like, yes, finally. And it, it, that sounds like a negative thing, you know, I'm kind of on a different path nowadays, but, you know, I'm, at least for now, I'll do these kinds of videos. But, um it's pretty cool to see them being pushed to this thing. And, you know, this, this me too, these me, me too allegations. I just wonder about, you know, like with this Chris Cuomo thing, what, where would you get the wherewithal to pinch your boss's ass? You know, I did pinch a girl's ass as a teenager. One time was on a dare. And one time was just, you know, being a moronic hormone filled angst ridden teen. But Obviously, I wouldn't do that today. It's it's so immature. I think he was like in his thir late thirties or something when he did that when this happened. So it's like no, that's not how you get laid or whatever. And the, the woman was married too, and he apologized to her. It's like, I mean, it's one thing saying something, you know, kind of sexually, uh, ex not sexually explicit, but you know, trying to proposition someone. But you, you know, to go out and pinch their ass, especially when you're a, supposedly a paragon of of uh, tolerance and liberalism. And me too. And he wore like these shirts in solidarity, apparently. It's just hilarious, you know. Like, I could just come out and say that I'm a pig because, you know, obviously if you watch some of my other videos, I have some problematic points of view about relationships, supposedly. You know, because I'm red-pilled a little bit and all this stuff. So, I'll just come out and say, you know, I, you know, I have partaken in things that, you know, this that are questionable, like approaching women on the street or something, you know, 
trying to flirt with them and stuff. So I guess, I mean, I know that's problematic. So I'm just admitting that I'm just coming out. I'm me tooing myself, man. <sighs> You know, but I'm just saying, like, I would never do that to a boss or in the, in a job situation and also, like, virtue signal about how great I am. So just like in the, uh, you know, there's all this, but there's been this, like, cliche meme of male feminists, like, <coughs> getting caught, like, being total, like, pigs and stuff. And I know someone that's kind of like that, honestly. Like, he's so scared of his own... Uh, feelings that he has to like apologize for them and like it's just I mean it would almost be better if he's just out in the open about how much of a piggy he is which is worse than me ironically and he's the one that's the male feminist this person I know or did or whatever without mentioning names and videos so these people they just you know they're it's kind of like the uh, repressed homosexuality with these like Christian fundamentalists it's like they'll go totally against uh you know, LGBT stuff, and they're like, ah, oh, they're, they're abominations of burning hell, and then they, they'll get caught with a gay hooker, you know, sniffing meth off their ass or something, you know, and I, I think it's hilarious, and I think it's, but it's awesome, you know, I think it's awesome that people are being busted that are total douchebag liars, like anything involved with CNN, just like, well, you know, when Bill O'Reilly got caught, you know, be, he was such a moral, a moral paragon, you know, against rapper. He'd talk about rappers all the time and like just all this stuff. And it just turns out he's a total pig. Like the rapper, these moral degenerates that he's trying to call out, you know, and it is stupid commentary. So Chris Cuomo and I hope Don Lemon did something wrong and someone can find out, you know, because I, that guy as of late has been just one of the most toxic people in the news business and anybody that watches him should really question their judgment or taste and character honestly because he is a fucking scumbag for what he said and you can believe you know different things about you know what and stuff the virus stuff you know and you could say you know maybe oh maybe oh well maybe you know like Oh, maybe we need to compromise and have a sunset clause and these mandates and stuff like that. You know, it can come out and just like not be such a divisive asshole. Oh, I think they should be banned for public life. Life, you know. And I, you know, Leanna Wen. I, I mean, she's a woman, but maybe there's something, some dirt on her too somewhere. I don't, you know, like I remember when Larry Flint was, uh, he hired, you know, he hired people to dig up dirt on the Republicans, and he he dug up a lot of dirt it was pretty awesome um i think we need this for a lot of these these douchebags in the media that are just you know like don lemons and the chris cuomo's of the world but you know there's a victory so the cuomo's have gone down not for the reasons you expected but uh you know all those stories about the cuomo's from fox news and stuff last year were probably true about you know them going out when they were infected and stuff and going to gym when they were infected and all this shit you know it's probably true so, but that, you know, you could say, oh, I'm a chromosexual. Uh -huh. It's like, you have to be a total moron at this point to, I mean, okay, I'm not going to say you have to be a total moron. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that you have to be really, really naive. And a lot of time that, ha that, is, that is connected with intelligence and that into, isn't, is connected with neural brain kind of stuff honestly sadly of course a lot of people are intelligent and they fall for this shit but in my opinion it almost seems like there's some type of brain thing with people that believe the mainstream media or these people anymore like just like unquestioning like and it's gonna happen more and more i you know at the end of the day i might complain about a lot what's going on and say my God, this is terrible. Oh, the outrage about someone getting caught being a hypocrite and all this stuff. But it's like, it means that the the system, this this establishment is failing. They're so incompetent. They can't even, you know, you can't even keep up with their incompetency and, and hubris. And they're just falling one by one like dominoes, you know? I mean, if if it wasn't Larry Elder versus Newsom, it, it, he might have lost, you know, just for example. And it just, people will... These people will be exposed for their crimes, I think. They are because they are. It's just it's the world is not what it was in the twentieth century where this is the I'm gonna elaborate on this a little bit more. The the world is not what it was 
in the 20th century where these dictators, you know, even before in history, where we have these dictators that can do all this stuff unaccounted, you know, or anybody that can do anything unaccounted. We're just so connected as a world now. It's not going to be the same as it was. Like, there's not going to be, and it, I could be wrong, but I think this is kind of the trend we're seeing is that we see people are held to account, maybe not enough yet, but it's starting to, it's starting to get there more is my point. Just like the last year and a half have shown all these hypocrites, these people and these, these just scumbags, you know, doing all this stuff. And, you know, it's like if, if it was 20 years before, if it was 20, 30 years before all these things that happened, have happened the last couple of years, a lot of these people would never have been exposed. They would have just kept doing these things. You would have, uh, you would have been like the Clinton stuff, like the very controversial quote unquote death count, you know, if if he if the these political organizations or elites tried more of the stuff when they try more of the stuff like with Epstein it's possible that they they did this not I'm, I'm not saying the Clintons I'm just saying you know the political elites did this or, I mean obviously watching uh, Gates's uh, Mister uh, 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 I'll just call him Shill Gates. I, I can't say, I'm gonna try, I'm trying to keep this, you know, keep this okay, this video, you know, kosher for uh, YouTube. If Mr., if that response was like, well, he's dead, you know, the NPR interview, that was really bizarre. If you see it, saw that, it's like he's admitting culpability or something like, oh, well, you know, it's almost like, oh, he, well, they killed him. Ugh. You know, stuff like that can't, they, people can't get away with that stuff anymore. It used to be fringe to think, oh, someone was killed because of this or this that wasn't really a suicide. I mean, I, I think the majority of the American people believe Epstein was murdered. You know, I, I, I truly believe that you can't get away with it. I mean, you you can get away with it at a certain level now, but it's not like where, oh, my God, you know, those conspiracy theorists are having another conference, you know, like 20 years ago, like, you know, some conference about JFK. It was like. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he was killed by the CIA or whatever. You know, you can, people can't get away with that shit anymore. They ha they have to. It's exposed. Of course, there's these warring political factions, but I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna. Eventually, the uh, people will catch on to what people they're trying to do. You know, these tyrannical people, and that, that's what I mean. Like when they're caught with Me Too, even if you know, even if I have problems with some of that. Or they're caught with like some political corruption. It's it's all over the news now, or it's enough in the un, you know the sub mainstream news or niche news, whatever you want to call it, disinformation. Enough. It's it's perpetuated enough that we know that something nefarious happened. Whereas thirty years ago, you know, you'd have to dig a lot deeper. Or even twenty years ago, you know, uh, there's this. There's a site called Counterpunch, you know, that I used to read. And they had all these things that, you know, all these like expos, exposés. But now you just, you know, you see some sometimes on the mainstream news, though, something will leak out. It's just the propaganda is not as powerful as it once was because we are. And I think apathy has risen as well. Unfortunately, that's that's the the. Pandora's box of that because as, as more shit comes out people are just like oh it's all fucked anyways and they won't do anything about it but I think the precipice has been reached with these these people like Chris Cuomo and you know uh, Andrew Cuomo and all these people and you know the whole uh, just everything that comes out and, I mean, and since Bush you know since the since George W. Bush I think people enough people question things now that I think the road to tyranny for the elites is paved with a lot more uh, landmines and spikes and resistance than it once, once was. And let's hope that continues in the future. That's about all.